Hi, this is Bob, W9RAN. I always get a kick out of making something out of nothing, so today I'm going to show you how to make a radio transmitter out of something you may even have laying around the house. An old All-American 5 AM broadcast radio, like you see in this picture. These were made by the millions and could come under almost any brand name. You've probably got one in a closet somewhere. The reason I called them All-American 5s is because these radios were made with five universal tubes. You can find versions with either the miniatures, like I'm going to use today, or full-size octal tubes. But either way, your first task is to make sure the radio is working. A common problem is filter capacitors, and those can be easily obtained and replaced. If your radio hums, chances are it's got bad filters. Once you get the radio working, carefully remove it from the cabinet, and you'll see something like this. We're going to modify this radio in a couple of different areas, so make sure it's one that isn't a keepsake or collectible or doesn't come in a bright colored plastic cabinet. If you have one of those, immediately stop this video, put it in a box and send it to me because they're worth a lot of money. Now the radio I selected for this project is just a cheap old Zenith table radio, probably sold for 10 or 15 dollars back in the 1960s. Now before I begin, let me say a word about safety. The All-American 5 operates from your AC power line and does contain high voltage that can cause injury or death. Therefore, you should never operate the All-American 5 unless it's plugged into an AC power isolation transformer like this. So to begin with, identify the location of the tubes in your radio. First, find the 12BE6 tube. Locate pin 6 and remove any wires that are attached to it. Make sure any wires you remove are tied together and tuck them out of the way. Next, find the 50C5 audio output tube. There should be a capacitor connected to pin 7. Make sure the other end of this capacitor goes to B- minus or ground. If not, move it. And then connect a short piece of wire to pin 7. Then solder the other end of this short wire, like the blue wire shown, to the empty pin 6 contact on the 12BE6. Next examine the tuning capacitor. You'll see that it has two sections. A wire from one section should go to the loop antenna. Cut that wire and connect it to the other capacitor terminal, connecting both sections in parallel as we've done with the green wire here. We also need to solder on a small capacitor at this point. 1 to 200 picofarads would be about right. You may be able to scrounge one from inside the radio. Solder a 10 to 20 foot long piece of wire to the free end of the capacitor. This will be your antenna. Next we need to solder wires to either side of the volume control. Leave the center wire, but disconnect any wires attached to the most clockwise terminal as viewed from the back. I've posted a link to this checklist as well as a schematic that shows the changes we've made. Well, now it's time to see if we can hear this transmitter on an actual radio. So, I'm going to use this trusty Royal 500 Zenith Portable. Let's turn it on. And you can hear nothing but hiss. So let's tune it to the frequency of the transmitter. Ah. The other way to do it is to adjust the frequency of the transmitter. We need to use a transformer to provide isolation and impedance matching for the audio device that will feed our transmitter. Here's a diagram that shows how it's done. Since this whole project is about making things out of junk, a cool way to get your audio transformer is to use an old wall charger. It must be one that says AC output or which has had the diodes and capacitors removed. Connected as shown. I found an old Black & Decker hedge clipper transformer that I thought was perfect. Here it is with wires soldered across the volume control. You can even wire up the old speaker and use it as a microphone. I thought I'd test it using a little speaker I took out of my truck because it sounded like crap. Hello test. One, two, three, four. All right, let's make this thing play. We're taking you back. 